back to my channel. My name is Alexis if you are new here. Today I have something very exciting to show you all. I will be revealing which dental school I will be attending in August. But before I do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel down below. I decided to make this video a little bit more interesting, so we're going to play a game of Jeopardy. So I'm going to answer a few questions regarding the application cycle leading up to my final decision. Let's start with DAT for 500. Did my DAT score hinder me from applying to a school originally on my list? The answer to that question is yes. Applying for the 2019-2020 cycle, it was virtually the last time I can use my DAT score from 2017. I really wanted to apply to Howard, but their cutoff date for DAT scores is actually two years from starting date, not the application date. So ultimately, I left them off my list. Okay, so personal statement for 400. As a reapplicant, did I rewrite my personal statement? Yes, of course. My first personal statement wasn't really up to par and I wanted to update what I have done differently this application cycle. Okay, so applying for 400. Do I have any advice for writing your personal statement? Most definitely. My biggest advice would be to dig deep. Find a story that best highlights you and you can definitely watch my YouTube video on personal statement advice. I give a lot of great helpful tips in that video. Okay, applying for 400. How many schools did I apply so to? I applied to 10 schools at first. That would be two of the three Florida schools, so UF, Nova, Meharry, Maryland, BCU, Temple, NYU, Boston University, Tufts University, and Midwestern Arizona. I added two other schools at the end, which was at the end of July, which was UNLV and ASDO. Applying for 500. What were you looking for when it came to choosing a school? So my top five include cost, location, diversity, community and outreach, mission trips, opportunities, and their clinical experience. Now let's look into interviews for 400. How many interviews did I receive? So gratefully, I did receive 10 interviews. Um, I received nine pre-December interviews. I did not go to one of them, which was H.E. Still, Arizona. Um, and then I received a post-December interview to Meharry Medical College in January. Okay, interviews for $500. Any advice for a successful interview? My number one advice would be to have confidence. Remember you're interviewing the dental school as much as they are interviewing you. Check out my interview video on my channel. Acceptances for 400. Where were you accepted decision day? I was accepted to four schools on decision day, which was pretty amazing. So that included um, Boston University, Temple University, Tufts University, and Midwestern Arizona. Okay, acceptances for 500. Did you receive any acceptances past decision day? And then I received my fifth acceptance to Meharry Medical College just recently um, this past May. Okay, I think it's time to reveal what you guys all have been waiting for. Final Jeopardy! Where will I be attending dental school? I will be attending. 
So ultimately, Temple was my very first interview of an out-of-state school. Um, it was my second interview back in September last year. I took to Philadelphia a day before my interview just so I can feel around what the city has to offer, especially since it was my very first time actually visiting the city. I really did like what I was able to see and experience that day before. Admissions did a really great job creating a very fun, exciting, and inviting um, experience for us at our interview. And even during the time that I was waiting for my actual interview, um, there were dental students coming out of the classrooms and they all took the time to just talk with us, give us advice on our interview, and just tell us why they like Temple, which I really did appreciate them doing so. And not only is Temple known for their really great clinical experience, they do have a very extensive alumni network that extremely stuck out to me during the interview day. And I think that's really what they wanted to showcase for us as well, considering our interviewer was actually an alumni. I'm excited to start school this fall at Temple University and vlog my dental school journey. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe down below. Stay tuned for my next videos. See ya.